Okay guys, welcome back to a new series. Uh, today we're going to be playing Control. I've only seen ads for this game. Uh, I think it's like two years old. But it looked really interesting and I was like, you know what? Let me play this game. Matter of fact, let me play it on YouTube and add some of my commentary in there. So let's just get right into it. Uh, is not visible. Yo, that's... I can still see it, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's just put it back at 50. Headphones. Uh, we're gonna leave subtitles on just in case. Let's get it! This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Wow, that is some really high sensitivity. Really high sensitivity. Wait a second, let me see if I can fix that. Um, let's go to 30. That's still really high. Um, that is some deep stuff like I don't know Federal Bureau of Control let's see is there anything around here one second I'm gonna change one more thing I gotta check something really quickly wait a minute so there we go That was some deep stuff that she was talking about. I don't even know, like... That's cool. F. Uh, G to open collections. Wow. You can't have... 
pagers? Oh, I thought that said papers. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> don't even... Don't pay attention to me. Wait, how did I... Okay, that's the map. I still feel like the sensitivity is way too high. And if it was me, I wouldn't want to be watching a video where, like, somebody's... It's not smooth. So, I'm trying to make it more smooth for you guys. Let's go in here. Oh, this is like one of those scary rooms. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. What do you mean you're at that place right now? Like, what do you mean you saw it in your dreams? You're not dreaming right now, are you? Did the door shut? Bureau expenditures. Remember, guys, if you want to read this stuff, just make sure to take the time to pause it. Um, I'm probably going to read over it while I'm editing the video. Um, I'm going to turn my sensitivity down again because I'm really concerned. I don't want you guys to be like breaking your necks trying to keep up. That's a little bit too low. Wait a minute. Like half of this video is going to be me adjusting the sensitivity. So, which poster was it? This one. Director Zachariah Trench. I would think that we would be able to do something with the picture. Could I, like, take this med kit? Oh. It's okay, don't mind me. Just using, using the bathroom, you know. What's the point of coming in here if... Is there like some sort of, I guess, spider sense or something like that? Like, you know how in other games, you have like this sense that you can activate to collect things. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Why were you looking for them? Did they like do you wrong or something? Can I crouch? No, that's sprint. It's usually C, right? No. You can't crouch, I guess. None of this stuff is going to open? I'm searching every room. FBI. A shark in his... Wow, all I needed to read there was shoot to kill. What are you guys trying to kill? Alright, next room. What is that noise? Who's humming? Is this one of those games where like... It's like a crazy bad guy that just hums. Because I'm going to be really scared if that's it. Blah, blah, blah. R4, something required. Hello? Is he in the wall? Yeah, we're just not going to... Not going to bother him right now. I'm not ready for a fight. Gotta sneak up on him. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you want. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. 
Artie the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said... Next murder around. That's him. Sorry for that little cut right there, guys. I actually got a phone call. And I had to stop my recording really quickly. We just talked to this guy and he said that we have an interview and apparently I'm supposed to be working for him. Hmm. Wait a minute. Whoa. Wait. Did we go? What? Okay, let's go. Elevators are like, oh no. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. What poster? I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I don't I try not to talk during cutscenes but this is an amazing cutscene like it gives me a sort of feeling I don't know how to describe it but this is an amazing cutscene oh wow I like how I start talking it goes right into control Did I lose you there for a moment? You did. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. We're starting from the top. What? They stole your brother? Okay. Oh wow, that was... I don't know why that's like that. There must be a vertical sensitivity too. Approved terminal. In the service of his regret. Alaska says blah blah blah. That looks like... Something like for what to say when somebody loses somebody. What is that alarm? How do I... How do I turn it off? Why can't I open that? Is it just there for decoration? Oh, that's... I need to turn that down too. That must be the move sensitivity. Yeah, there we go. Can you tell that I like shooter games? From my low sensitivity. So. What exactly are we. Why is it so dark? Do I have like a flashlight? Wow. I just. I can. No. Wow. I really thought I could. Knock over the. Knock over the desk. That's kind of weird.
Well, Barbara, I can't trust. Nope. Nope. All right, guys. That's the end of this series. I hope you guys are liking it so far. I... Oh, of course, you know. Whatever type of game it is, I have to run towards the gunshot. You know, why not? Let's just investigate. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, now I have a map. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? It's always a gun. What is the point of this? That's a uh, interest Something's outside. No, was coming here a mistake. Nothing's outside. What? Wait. What is that? Y'all see like that red stuff? What the heck? How she know something's outside? You know what? Forget it. Let's just pick up the murder weapon. You know, it'll fix all of our problems. Because why not? And there goes the poster. What? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Objects of power can cause or be Yeah I'm not gonna watch that whole thing or not now at least The astral plane challenge now I have a health bar I didn't have that before I guess I just follow this I almost, <laughs> I almost missed that and I just I just started playing the game and I almost missed like the first jump in the game. Oh my god. Melee. Oh what what? Yo! Oh get wrecked! I don't really like that. I may have to change some things around. Control the gun house. Yo, what type of gun is Okay. Now I have a gun. Wait. What's reload? It's not R. Oh, it reloads. Reloads automatically. Okay. Yo, the melee is so nice, though. Okay. So I guess the more you shoot, the longer... Yeah, the more you shoot, the longer it takes to reload. I kind of just want to melee them, in all honesty. No bonus for headshots from what it looks like. Yeah, no bonus, no bonus for headshots, okay. Yo, the melee is so cool. Is there more of them? Yeah, there's more. Oh, he has a gun. 
It's good to know that can happen in this game. They can fall off cliffs. What is this blue stuff? Is that like health? Wait, he came back from the cliff? What? Enemies drop, yep. Yeah, so I was right. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here I am NOT happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go yeah um Does Q do anything? You know what, that's probably gonna... I'm not gonna look at those, because that's probably gonna ruin the game. But, uh... Nope! Yep, so, uh... Thank you guys for watching the first part of this series. You won't be seeing it again. No, I'm just playing with you guys. Let's see what this is. Why are they, like, hanging? What the f What? What in the world? Is this some sort of torture? A uh, what? Excuse me? Wait, so... Why did he look like that? Wait, so I guess my question is... Can I pick this up? Nope. Why am I going to protect a bureau that stole my bro- What the heck just happened? I'm kind of confused, not even going to lie. Why would I? That's nice that, like, the materials come to you. That's really nice. Why would I? Now I have the clearance level, don't I? Nope. Why would I? Be helping the Bureau that stole my brother from me. I guess I'm the director now? Why would I even be the director? If they did that to my brother. Wow, I, I don't have the clearance for that either. Let's just go back here because <laughs> this is the one place I know I have the clearance for. What is that line? Says the dead man. Okay. What's the hotline? Yo, this is. Oh, wait, headshots do do more damage. If I could aim. So 
So what am I? Oh, those are just materials, and I, I, I thought, I thought the three was like my clearance level. Hmm. Oh, there's a load of personal mods. Deconstruct. Yeah, so I get more health, okay. Okay, that's good to know. There's a there's some sort of loadout mechanic. Yo, I swear this game is like a movie. That is so that is so oh my god. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Okay. Is hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I like how I'm over here trying to defend some sort of bureau against the hiss. And it's like, well, let me turn on this music, you know. Everything goes better with music. The map doesn't show anything. Anything helpful, at least in my opinion, so... I'm not going to use it much. This is so... Woo! That does not look fun. Oh, yeah, that... This does not look fun. You know, it's a game, right? You know, what could go wrong? I can't. There has to be some way to get down there, right? Could I jump over here? Yes, I can. Uh, what? Ranger, what? Oh my god. They do a lot of damage. Oh, something's doing a lot of damage. Or I... Oh, no, no, no. Buddy, 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 buddy. Yo! Am I just not ready to, like, fight that guy, or... Wow, he, like... I don't even know. He, like, three-shot me. I never saw this before. Yo, that guy like three shot me. What is this? What did she just do? Emergency supply. Can I close this while I'm in here? What's the point of me closing that exactly? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back here. I ain't no loser. I ain't gonna... Wait, if I die... Wait a minute, there was a piece of paper over here, right? If I die, do I lose? No, I don't. Okay. All right. It's our enemy. That babble's contagious. Round two. Like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and 
No mercy this time. No mercy. You're not beating me again. This is like a mini boss battle. Whoops. Always one hit. Gotta go for the melee. Oh, yeah. That's how you do. Oh, what? Cleanse control points. Cleanse the control points. Yo, what is... What the heck? What? Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? Oh, fast travel. Uh, of course, I only have the civilian outfit. Speak with the voice. That's cool. Please, talk, to me. talk to you Before where? You deal with the compromised agents. Oh, over here. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, <laughs> You're the new director. I should have lied. Hold on. We're coming out. Oh, now it makes sense. Director, Faden, call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse, I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss, like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, because he's too much. dead. The whole situation is just a lot. For some reason, he Trench killed himself. Dead. Shot. Ah. Uh. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking what? unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Yeah, do you? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. 
But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. This is an interesting... That looks painful. She died, right? It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Fifty dollars, that's the telephone. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. 
Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. The hotline should be in the communications department. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just All right, guys. Um, I'm not going to make you guys sit through and watch the questions right now. Um, that is going to be the end of this first video. And, you know, if you guys are liking the videos so far, ooh, another health boost. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you know when I post again. And I will see you guys in the next video. Finding the telephone. Have a good one.